Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Kenna and I'm a Cameroonian content creator based in Douala, Cameroon. Okay, so since you guys, like let me not say since, it seems you guys love me in the kitchen. So I've decided to do more kitchen videos. So today we are going to have another cook and chat and we are going to be cooking Njansa sauce and Nyondo with plantain. Okay. Let me explain. I'm going to be making Miondo because all the kids love Miondo. I love Miondo. But my husband does not like Miondo, so I'll be doing his with ripe plantain and then I will do mine without ripe plantain. <laughs> uh, I like it with both, but I want to eat Miondo because I love Miondo. So I'll go ahead and show you. Oh, if I forget, today we're going to be talking about correcting your child without beating them, without whipping them. Because <laughs> some of us will be whipping our children. <laughs> I'm laughing that you know that laugh when you, you laugh because you know that you are guilty of something. Yes, I am that mother who will whip a child without even thinking twice. I feel bad about it, but I'm that parent. So I will be sharing with you guys what i have done all these years to help me just stop beating them too much how i basically how i correct them these days without whipping them without all that and please you know how this goes we're going to talk more so please just come in the comment section let's be gisting let me be giving you my own things and then you to come and give your own things that you do because yeah we learn from each other every day anyway let me go now and show you guys the spices i start preparing the spices and then i feel like this thing is really singing on my hand i don't know that the mic is even catching it but yeah we'll just go ahead show you the spices and we'll start cooking here are our ingredients we have a miondo and plantain there we have njangsa over here a lot of people like the dry njangsa but i personally prefer the fresh one over here we have the rest of the spices that we're going to be using like do i really need to explain you guys can see that we just have tomatoes onions leeks my favorite spice white pepper and just a few things lying there okay loves now that you have seen the spices normally you know me everything in the blender put it together try. that's like i feel like i have one way of cooking so sometimes me doing like recipe videos i feel like it's boring chopping the spices basically chopping my onions tomatoes garlic all the spices to put in the in the blender because i don't want to be seeing any spice that's one reason why i blend a lot okay so let's talk about correcting your kids if there's one thing that it, i always hated when i was single was just um being in that situation where i see people's kids and i'm like now who's gonna pick him this way? Which can I pick in this? What's that they pick in my day? You see, I always hated that. So one of my prayers was always like, Papa God, I beg. I don't want to have that child that is a thorn to people's flesh. I want my kids to be those children that everybody's like, oh, they're so nice. They're so well behaved. They're so good. <laughs> but guys, your children will disappoint you when it comes to that. Your children will make you mad. Your children will, in short, disgrace you basically disgrace you because your kids will be doing some things and sometimes you'll be looking at them and like after all this upbringing after everything but dude, that's not what we're talking about we're talking about how i correct my kids without flogging them yes growing up in a Cameroonian family i don't know in my time if you grew up and they were not flogging you it means that you consider you a jebo okay Consider you are saying soft life because they will whip us. They will whip us. But honestly, guys, I'm not going to come here and lie. Growing up, my my mom and dad, they barely hit me. Maybe I was a good girl. I don't know. But my parents hardly hit me. Honestly, to be honest, to God, my parents did not beat me. I saw my parents and people in my house beat the living daylight of my elder brother and my elder sister i don't know keith and myself that's my kid brother and myself i don't think hey guys see see cwf i have to start going to the gym my cwf is true look at that giant age okay i don't know 
anyway yeah guys so that is it growing up i wasn't really one of those children that they whipped but i saw how my cousins my older cousins that stayed in a house to beat kevin see guys kevin that whole kevin that you're seeing him today like that kevin used to be the most troublesome child you have ever met he used to cause so much trouble so do us they used to beat him like they used to beat him up to a point that sometimes i go and stand and i'm crying and i'm like please leave my brother away leave but my brother. growing up now in our society today we have discovered that okay a lot of us are discovering let me not say we like everybody has a lot of us are discovering that you see what i'm doing guys i told you in my last cook video in case you have not watched this your first video i'm just putting everything in the blender even the powder spices i'm putting everything in the blender except the maggi i'll blend it it makes it easy jangsa for me jangsa sauce for me is one of the easiest meals to cook there are different methods of cooking it obviously but i'll be using the simplest method today because i want to go to the how do you call it how do you call that place i want to go to for my tip appointment i missed it last time so today i want to go on time anyway so i have put everything let me go ahead and blend it and then i'll get back to you guys at this point my is already on the fire and then i'm going to go ahead and some sauce and we are going to continue. Oh my god, this is a good thumbnail. Ah. <laughs> the only thing now I'm going to add is my maggi. Next, I'm just leave it to. Next thing I'm going to handle is my fresh fish. This is the bar fish I bought from Yukwe. So, this fish was so expensive. I've been pampering it as in I don't want to cook it just with anything. I'm just going to dump it in this bowl and salt it. That depends on what works for you. Me, I just want salt. It will spice the fish like really spicy. Like, ah, Jesus. Some people really like real spicy. Then me, I'll just salt it a little bit. Okay. Which type of cook are you? Are you the cook who um are you that cook who prepares everything and just dumps it inside the pot and cooks? Or yeah, that person like me who is who, who tries to manage time, you put the meander as the meander is body, you put the tomatoes, then you start grinding jansa. Which are you? Are you that person who likes to prepare all the spices? Then you take one, put in the pot, take one, put in the pot. Oh yeah, that person that you put tomatoes as tomato tomatoes is getting ready, you are turning for full, you are doing which one are you? I'm the messy one and bread. I feel like my method um it takes less time. That's what I feel. What do you guys think? Okay guys, so the first thing um it's like the onions are really strong because it's getting into my eye. Anyway, if I cry stop because I'm emotional it's because of the tomatoes. Anyway guys, so um the first thing I'm going to talk about is the first thing I'm going to talk about when it comes to correcting your kids without flogging them is just that you have to learn how to control your emotions. Trust me when I say kids will annoy you, kids will break your expensive things. Things they are just kids. You cannot kill your kid because of ground property. You get so you just have to put it in mind that see, as long as I have these people called kids in my house. They will do and undo. It is just my place as a parent to control my emotions, guys. This is one thing that I am struggling with. This is one thing that I'm struggling with. I've been struggling with. I'm still struggling with. <laughs> I'll keep struggling with. <laughs> but yeah, just to control my emotions. Sometimes the kids will do something. I don't I don't breathe and think to calm myself down. I just react like I just pull them and and trust me, if you have that kind of temper it will be so hard for you not to flock your kids because at that point when the child has done something wrong the first thing that comes to your mind is wait i will do the bikini and the closest thing you have is obviously your hands so 
and you're going to use your hands or your shoe to whip the child okay so you want to learn how to control yourself what works for you i'll tell you what works for me for me what works for me is that when something happens when a child breaks something i just start counting from 100 going down by the time i get to like 80 i start laughing because i'm just like hey <laughs> I don't burn you get so that's the first thing I do I just like I start counting I breathe I just start telling myself Kenna you know go keep picking because some ground cattle you get and that's that's the first thing I just start saying like I am not going to kill this child because of ground cattle like this is it's just it's just a perfume it's just a chair it's just property this child is more valuable than all those things you get. That's the very first thing I think of. Like, can I you not kill this? You not kill a child because of property. The second thing which works like magic for Kaden is the naughty corner. The thing I want to tell you here is we all have different kids and you have to figure out what works for for each child. Okay, we have to look, figure out what works for each child. For Caden, each time I put him in the naughty corner, Caden cries, he becomes calm. Like, just leave him in the naughty corner for 15 minutes, tell him, stand. Actually, you put him at the corner, at the corner of the house, he faces the wall, no moving, no nothing, he just stands there, Caden will cry. On days that he's being too naughty, I feel like he gets tired, I tend to sit down in the naughty corner and he's facing the wall. See, guys. This is something Kaden hates with a passion. Kaden will cry and beg you, Mommy, I'll be the best son. I don't want to do this anymore. Mommy, please. Mommy, please. Like, Kaden hates it. So I was like, this is good. Because I have finally found the thing to punish this child with that makes him feel it. Because, Kaden, when you beat him, he just frowns. He frowns and he's looking at you like, hmm. so you whip me. But if you want to finish him, send him to the North Corner. But naughty corner will not working for Monique. Monique is calm. Monique will be taking it's her yoga time. She'll be relaxing. There wasn't in Myra. Myra feels it's a game. When I say everybody to naughty corner, Myra is playing and laughing and she's just like, oh my god, this is so fun. So obviously, I cannot do naughty corner with them. Okay? I cannot do naughty corner with Monique and Myra. So what works more for Monique is taking away something she likes guys i've been seeing what monique does i've been seeing only in movies so american movies where a child will be like oh my blanket i can't live without my blanket i can't sleep without my blanket monique has this pink blanket that my sister got for her at some point people were like monique now today i wish there because why are you working with this blanket monique walks with that blanket when she doesn't see that blanket she doesn't sleep she went for a sleepover one time i think the tomatoes are getting dry no extend to be what that is so we went for she i sent her to a sleep for a sleepover at my friend's house and forgot to take her blanket see monique by 6 p.m monique notices that her blanket is not there monique starts crying guys she's crying my baby because she wants to see my baby my baby oh my baby she sleeps with it she does everything with it like she's in love with her baby so she was crying my baby my baby my friend had to call me and I, we had to carry the blanket to her before monique could sleep so she's really attached to her blanket she's carrying it to every part of the house sometimes when i wash it it's a problem because she comes and she's crying like i want my baby so yeah guys that is something you can take away your favorite toy yeah Take away your favorite toy like if you are not going to be a good girl i'm taking away a blanket nightmare for monique just take her blanket and hide happy day monique will cry and cry and cry honestly i feel like myra is still too young for me to figure out what is going to hurt her but yeah like a baby she doesn't like time out like don't talk to me just sit just like just go away just go to one corner she'll cry 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 but yeah i can't say i figured out what i can do to make Myra in particular to feel bad for what she has done and all that. But those are the two major things I do. So Kaden too likes TV, so sometimes this can work. I'll be like, okay, I know your favorite channel is Nicktoons. No Nicktoons for you. No Nicktoons for you till you act properly. Okay, guys. Um, let's go. It's time for me to.
I mix in jam some water just in case you're wondering. I used to use the fry, uh, fry method to cook everything. Where is the spoon, guys? I can't find the spoon I was using, so I'll go ahead and pick another one. I used to use the frying method to cook everything. But after some time, I just lost interest in that cooking method. So now I do the mostly boiled. Everything when it's dry, you add oil, add the spices, then get ready. And a lot of people sometimes, they, when, when they watch you cooking something and you're not cooking their method, a lot of people will diss your food. And I'm always just like, only people who don't have sense will diss something that they have not tasted. Sometimes you could legit feel like your own method to cook something is the best method to you try the next person's method, okay? So each time I see people cooking and putting strange spices in, in meals that I don't understand, I never diss them. I'm just like, okay. I try. If it looks interesting enough to me, sometimes I'm like, okay, I need to try this. Maybe this is something that I've been missing out on. Okay, so yeah, that's what I've done here. I just, you guys can basically see. I'm going to go ahead and taste it to ensure that everything is just okay. Mm. I think it needs a little bit of salt. Just like a pinch of salt. And I'm good to go. Okay. So yeah guys. I'm going to let it boil now and round up our chat. I most definitely am going to be putting in the fish the last thing because that's fresh fish. It's not fish from the coastal. Fish from the coastal sometimes is strong. So if you put it in the middle, it's not bad. But when the jansa, jansa always like to leave it to really stay on the fire. So when the jansa has is half ready, that's when I'm going to go ahead and put um, the fish because it's really fresh fish. If you just put it inside like that, it can easily get scattered. Okay. Hi, baby. So, yeah, guys, as I was saying, Kaden loves cartoons. He loves watching TV. So, sometimes this method can work for him because I'll just be like, yes, mama, go and watch cartoon. Sometimes this method can work for him because he, since he likes watching cartoons, I'll just tell him, okay, papa, since you are being a naughty boy, I'm, I'm blocking. Like, I just, since I have DSTV, I'll just block it with the remote. Like, I'm blocking your channel. You're not going to watch any this, this channel anymore to become a good boy he's going to cry after some time he'll act like a good boy and i'll put back his channel so those are a couple of things you can do okay the next thing i do is this is very important is reward good behavior where you are such a good when you do something nice i'll be like oh see you're a nice boy i'm going to give you yogurt i'm going to give you biscuits i'm going to take you out to go and visit a friend we're going to go to the park like i just try to reward good behavior so that they know that when you act poorly it has negative consequences and when you act properly it has good consequences so it motivates them to want to do better and then last but not least i praise them oh my god see <laughs> this one sometimes I'm, I'm like my kids hype hype woman i'll be hyping now like, ah, ah, bobo, ah. is this my bobo or somebody else's bobo so my bobo can can, can eat and go and kick his plate like this good boy so bobo, ah, you don't want it to cry like that oh good boy yeah you're my best baby like praising them when they do something right like especially a chore i praise them when they do a chore and i praise them you see money twitter mommy i want to do mommy i want to do too i want to do too so they try to do the good thing because they see that you are basically praising them again but if you don't praise them you're always like no butcher this one that one that one mm. the child it, it doesn't motivate the child it doesn't make the child feel like there's any there's a difference within doing good or bad thing if you never praise because growing up in most african homes most parents never praise their kids when a kid was doing a good job a lot of our parents would not praise us i, I cannot remember i'm not going to come here and lie that my mother praised me or my mother not praised me i cannot remember whether they did or did not praise me but i know that in most african homes 
growing up, some parents will be like, if you praise this child, the child's head will swell, the child will start acting up and all that. But I don't believe that. I praise them. I need them to know that you are good at this. It, because you also build their confidence. Anyway, guys, these are just the way I try. Like, for me, all these other things are simple, except the part to regulate your temper. I'm not going to lie. Like, I've not touched my kids since I decided to do this. Like, no, there are days that one... one from 100 to 1 cannot calm me down I'll still get upset and I hit them but I can proudly say I don't hit them as much as I used to these days I'll probably just give you a bad look or I pinch you and I just let you go because for me the way Kedu used to look at me when I whip him I'm just like one day one day and one day they won't go beat me <laughs> so you get anyway guys that is it let's discuss more in the comment section what do you think about flogging your kids do you Think don't spare the rod and spoil the child. Do you still whip your kids up, down, front, center, or you feel like that's too mean? You don't whip them at all. You don't hit them. You just decide to do different things. If you do, let me know those things that you do so that I can steal some of your ideas. Okay? And if you are watching and you are reaching this point, what is the problem with you? Huh? What is the problem with you? Please go and subscribe. Anyway, guys. There you have it. I'm not going to wait for a while. When the soup boils and reaches an extent, I'm going to go ahead and add in the fish and all that and continue. And I, I don't know, like, yeah, I'm done with the chat. So we we'll just concentrate more on cooking. Let me check the miondo and then go ahead and check the breakfast. Miondo is boiling. And jansa sauce. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of oil and then I put in the fish now, drop some water in it and be on my So this is a jansa and fish sauce with me on dom. Yes guys, I only made my husband's plantain when he came, so that's why you'll not be seeing it here. But yeah, this is how it looks and it tasted so good. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks so much for watching and I'm going to see you on the next one. Love you.